Hi everyone, welcome to the reading room. Today we're going to take what we know about reading books in the real world and use that to learn how to read books in the virtual world. Here I am choosing a book. I found this one, Mr. Putter and Tabby, you know, like cats. So I'm doing what we all know how to do, which is take a picture walk. I'm flipping through the pages, looking at what the story might be about. Looks like they like to hang out together. Ooh, outside and at home. Just flipping through, not really looking at the words yet. Ooh, lots of fun. All over the place. Oh, on this page. Ooh, looks like it goes from day to night. And then here we find a sad cat. I love a sad cat. But how are we going to take that skill that we have with real books and use them on books online? Well, let's try it. So here I am on Raz Kids. I'm going to click on reading and then I'm going to choose level up because I know that's where I find the books that are on my level to help me move up to the next one. Now I'm going to think, what do I want to read today? You can look at the covers just like I was looking at the covers on my bookshelf. Whoops. Just like I was looking at the covers on my bookshelf to choose what book I wanted to read. I think I want to read this one because it has a cat in it, just like Tabby was in the other book. And you'll see that every book has headphones and a book. The headphones are where you get to practice your picture walk. And the book is where you get to practice actually reading. If you don't have headphones on yours, that's okay. You can still click on the book and flip through it fast the first time and then read it carefully the next time. So I'm going to click on the headphones. And while we're doing a picture walk, what we need to do is make sure we're looking all around just to get a sense of what's going on. So here Go away. on the cover, I'm looking Go all away. around. Whoops. I'm looking all around Go and it away, looks like he's kind of sad. But here, it looks like the little boy's not too sad anymore. All right. Let's see. I'm not going to read it. I'm not even really going to listen to it. I'm just going to flip through and kind of see what's going on. Yeah, Lily looks so happy, but this little boy, he does not look so happy really at all. I'm looking all around to see what's going on. It looks like the boy is playing. Maybe she's making it hard for him. Again, as you do a picture walk, you flip through the pages just like they were in your fingers. You look all around and see what's going on. Oh, Lily's on his book while he's trying to read. That makes me think, maybe the word read is on this page. Maybe the word book is on this page. And you can just flip through, keep looking all around to see what's going on. And then your brain will be all warmed up for when it's time to actually read it. Looking all around. Oh, it looks like they finally got some peace. Aww. And that's it. That's how you do a picture walk. You flip through the pages using the arrow. You look all around to see what's going on. And then next time we'll click on read and we'll get to use some other skills for actually reading the book. Oh, well, wow. I made it back into the real world. Well, almost the real world. Next time we'll see more of how you can use those skills, you know, with reading real books and how you can use them online. All right, good to see you all.